I only that... watched the English Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. Ah, uh, see, he's like really famous. Who? He, he has San... like this really. He's What's his an name old again? man, Norio Wakimoto. I feel Sam. like if you heard his voice, you would instantly recognize him. I bet not, like because the... if he's a Japanese voice actor, then I've only seen a couple of Japanese anime. But he's like... He's so big. Are you calling he's... him fat? No, he's an old man. But just amazing. He's amazing. Mysterious Blood Stranger. Bloodstained that... Stranger. Bloodstained Stranger. I feel like this yellow stuff is per completely obvious. Yeah. But keep writing it down. I think that's a song. Mysterious Bloodstained Stranger. It's a love song about a nice. mysterious bloodstained stranger. Alright, back to the lab. For some reason, this music reminds me of Stalker Clear Sky music, for some reason. I don't know why. Reminds me of K-Pax. fuck is K-Pax? Have you seen it? It's a fantastic- Well, I, I think it is a fantastic movie. And all my friends do, too. Because I made I, them watch it and they loved what it. What is it? Uh, it's called K-Pax. It's with Kevin Spacey. He- It starts with him appearing at Grand Central Station. Um, in a city. I, I know there are many Grand Central Stations, but anyway. Um, and it's Jeff Bridges as the psychiatrist. Um, Kevin Spacey claims to be an alien from K-Pax, and the entire movie is about whether or not he is actually an alien. Is he an alien? Uh, it's left ambiguous. But uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. If you can get a copy of K-Pax, then you should watch it. It's underappreciated, in my opinion. And the music is fantastic. Speaking of good films, what do you think about Old Boy? Absolutely fantastic. And of course, by old boy, I'm talking about the Spike Lee remake of Old oh, Boy. On. Stop it. How excited are you for that movie? But the dude they they um announced as the actor, he, yeah, he, I bet he can nail that role. Yeah, but it's directed by Spike Lee, so yeah. it's kind of irrele it's kind of irrelevant. <laughs> Which actors the... he chooses? Yeah, because if it's a bad movie, it's fucking irrelevant. Wait. What else has Spike Lee made? He's made some good stuff. Maybe, yeah, in the last five decades, he's sure made some good stuff. Red Hook Summer, Miracle at St. Anna. What else? Um... Inside Man. She hates me. Inside Man was not too bad. Twenty fifth hour. Bamboozled. Are, are you only naming the shit ones? No, I'm. I'm going back. See, okay. two thousand, two thousand two, two thousand four, two thousand blah blah blah. All right. Um. Bamboozled was in two thousand. Summer of Sam, nineteen ninety nine. He's he got game 1998. Get on the bus 1996. Girl six 1996. Clockers 1995. Crooklyn. Do you, I don't I don't trust this man with the recreation <laughs> of a Korean classic. Is what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> he's he's got some wonderful pun names for his movies. Speaking of puns, like Crooklyn, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That, that doesn't make it a good <laughs> film. <laughs> no, you're right. That's terrible. That if that is his history of movies, that is fucking shit. I All am right. seriously scared of how your favorite character is here, by the way. Oh, what? Nagaki. All right. 
Oh, this is the side story involving Nageki. A long, long time ago. What is happening? I don't... Mr. Nageki. The ghost did it, obviously. Clearly. Wait, isn't Nageki the name of the ghost? Was I just crazy? Nageki was the ghost boy. Thought so. Girl, ghost girl, sorry. Yeah, the original Old Boy had a budget of three million dollars. Old Boy was such a fucking good movie. It was. Have you seen um, the Raid yet? The Raid Redemption. No. No. Go to hell. It, it seems like just violence with it no is, plot. It is just violence, but it is fantastic. Exactly. It old Boy glorious. has like a really excellent plot. Disgustingly, like excellent plot. It is amazing. Um. Have you watched? I've recently watched Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. That was also quite good. I have not seen that. Well, you shouldn't have watched Old Boy either. Like you're a, you're a little kid. You should not be yeah, watching these big boys no. movies. One time I tried up. to get into the 14A movie Ted, and they're like, "Maybe you're too young for this." What's 14A? Out of the movies. What? What's 14A? 14 years old, so you need to be 14 years old to watch the movie. What? And they're like, Ted is too old for you, kid. I've heard of the, the 13 cutoff mark. No, I've in Canada there's the 14. 14. That's so weird. So here we only have M, which is, you can watch it, doesn't matter how old you are. even though Yeah, but like half the shit's plus. banned anyways. Um, No, not at all. For video games, though? We have R for video games now. So... There's, like, weird censorship going on for video games in uh, Australia. Like, four na notable games were banned, and only temporarily so. Still. That's irregular. And in our movies, we only have G, which is everyone, M, which is everyone, but you should probably think about it twice, MA, 15+, which is the only one which is actually um, enforced, and there's no R in our movies, like actual movies you go to. So MA50 Plus. So the only, once you're over 15, you can watch any movie in Australian cinema, pretty much. Hmm. So Canada, I need to double check this. Canada, Canada. So Quebec is different too. That's genius. Um, G for everyone. PG for parental guidance. 14A, 18A, R, A. In Quebec, it is Visa General, 13 ons A+, plus, 16 ons, or no, that's wrong, sorry. How do we say 13 in French again? I'm trying to think. We're going to the, prime, the headmaster's office. Oh. I think? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's this? He wasn't in that chair literally five seconds ago before they <laughs> popped that up. And he's no longer on the chair. I bet he's dead. Killed by who? Robot. Oh. Oh, by that, like, bagged thing? Yeah. He is no longer the headmaster. So basically, when birds think things are dead, it's just no longer a thing. Him? Yeah. His feathers are pallid. I don't think that's how feathers work. <laughs> His feathers died. His feathers. <laughs> no. Um, have oh. you seen like a like a dead animal on the side of the road? I've picked up multiple dead animals in my childhood oh, wow. on the side of the road. And I, saw I, I have yet to my die. My first roadkill, like a month ago. Really? What was yeah. it? Like Australia, we just don't have much roadkill. Like people don't run over animals. Like we've had more 
accidents caused we have, we by have dead animals. We have deer crossing signs animals. in the middle of Toronto. Yeah, like we don't need that because our cities are not in the fucking wilderness. To be fair, like I think the first time I saw like really disgusting roadkill was when I was in like third grade, and it was like a raccoon with his belly split open. And it's like inside all of insides all over the road. Like I've seen like, awful. dead cats, but like the only. Okay, so I've only seen two dead cats, I think, in my life. Have I'm you sure seen, that. like, a squirrel that's been, like, turned into squished roadkill, and it's just, like, no. thick fur on the road? Not, actually, I've seen I've actually seen two more pieces of roadkill that I, I wasn't remembering, but those were, like, on the road as I was driving past. Also, when I went camping, like, on the camping ground road, there was a frog that was squished into nothing. Like, but I think my total flat. is, like, four. Like, really? Really? Like, seriously, there are more accidents caused by people avoiding hitting animals in Australia than... Oh, yeah. That's that's a big cause yeah. of things. Just small animals often just don't get seen in the middle yeah. of the city. But here it's just like... Yeah, so I've, I've barely ever seen roadkill. So I saw my first roadkill that I can remember, like, vividly a month ago. And it was a cat. And someone had oh. taken off the road and laid it, like, restfully... On the um, on the, like the, uh, it's like green next to the pay like the sidewalk, so there's like yeah. a green area, it because it's a residential area, so it's not like, it's not a city. Area. They laid a dead cat in just the middle of, what? <laughs> well, they, they took it off the road and laid it on like next to the sidewalk. Um, right. But the the scary thing was it didn't look dead. Like, it was it looked as if it was sleeping. I only realized it was dead. When I was walking back from the place I was going, and it was still there. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like your first kill, road kill, as in you ran over it yourself. No, I've never run oh. over an animal. So you, that was the first time you've seen road kill. The the fourth, but first memorable time. Mm. So the other the other three were me driving past something dead on the road. Um, right. This was like the first one i've seen i've never run over an animal what are you oh okay monster what the fuck's wrong with you whatever and that was this episode <laughs> was it boyfriend. no it's well no it's only like 12 nine, minutes in okay sure minutes. we'll, we'll save about? and keep going sorry about that i thought this episode was over that's why I it just like to halfway through the episode just talking about roadkill <laughs> the fuck is this i totally did not realize it was only 12 minutes into the episode <laughs> all right third class uh, passes by really slowly in the world of had a full boyfriend well we've been playing for like an hour and a half or yeah. two hours almost all right dun, 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 dun. sure okay so it's not the headmaster he's dead yep yeah. well no, he's not dead. He's just no longer the headmaster. <laughs> His memory will live on. Yeah. Do you think that's what they mean by it's no longer dead? I no, no longer I think they're human. just fucking stupid because yeah. they're birds and not Thank people. You. Ah, see, he's calling it a quarantine now. Yeah. He realizes. Makes sense. PTA Records. Is in yellow Parent for some association. reason. But it's in yellow, so write down. Demographic for dummies is in yellow. Demographic for dummies. I don't, Transfer we students don't need to write is in yellow, yellow. You should write these down. Demographic for dummies, transfer students, and PTA? Yeah. 
The human representative is the final. The date was You're paying me on commission, ago. by the way, for each thing I'm writing down. Sure. No problems. Is that a laptop? Um, or like a surveillance equipment? Computers. That's a... Well, I think that's a laptop. No, that's not a laptop. That's just like some sort of weird input thing. Yeah. Control panel for some machine. The dome. Duh! Thing you forgot about. Did you find it yet? The thing you forgot. So thing you forgot about, yellow. Thing I forgot about. Thing you forgot about. Thing I forgot about. What? <laughs> I'm hoping you're writing down both. I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot <laughs> about it. What did I forget? Stop it. Wait. Thing I forgot about. What, what was the next one? Idiot. No, 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 no. Thing you forgot about, and then. Is it thing, thing I, I forgot, forgot about. about? That was it. The fuck was... What is that? <laughs> thing you forgot about. Thing I forgot about. There are no riddles here. If you want to find the truth, you only need to keep going. You need not use your brain at all. Is that in yellow? No. Damn. So you don't have to write it down, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, apparently this might not be the last time we play Hateful Boyfriend, considering how long this damn section is. Oh, right. No, this is the last time. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Even if we don't finish this time? No, we're, we're finishing this time. In one sitting? Yep. Even if it's five hours long? Yep. I don't think it is, though. It seems I don't. It from what I've read, we doesn't seem like we've even scratched the surface. Well, the game itself was only four episodes, which is only like two hours. You're saying the post game is longer than the game? I think this true route is like the half of the game. So if, maybe it'll be two hours. What do you mean? Because the game itself was two hours. No, like half of total gameplay time. So you think this is going to be four hours? 
8,000. You're crazy. Eight. Plus, we don't get to skip through like we did before. <laughs> a sudden end. Mm -hmm. Is this a different song? Save you for a grass question mark, yes! Yes. What is your favorite movie of all this time, Miss? Um, my number one movie I always name when someone asks me that is probably Requiem for a Dream. Mm. Um... Which With, again, um, you shouldn't have watched. Jim Carrey? Because you're too young. Um, no, it's not Jim Carrey, you asshole. Uh, yeah, it's it's just... yeah, It's the movie that gave me the strongest emotional reaction to a movie I've ever had. So that's why it's my favorite. Beyond that, it's the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And probably Gladiator is up there somewhere. Oh, Gladiator is a good movie. Because back, back then, man, their recreation of Rome was, like, just mind-boggling how awesome that movie was when that came out. Mm -hmm. And I think it still holds up, like, the graphics. Obviously, the movie itself holds up. Like, the plot and all that, the execution of the plot, the acting, all fantastic, even today. Um, especially right. today. But, like, even just the execution of their recreation of Rome still holds up, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. He just called us a nincompoop. <sighs> Doesn't the school have a PA system? I guess you wouldn't use that for this kind of thing. Yeah. Plus, everyone speaks in text, so <laughs> kind of hard. Also, PA is only PA. one way. So. Right. Such a bad noise. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, there he is. Exclamation mark. Oh, it's a scarecrow. Best music in the game. Oh, second best music in the game. Well, what's... You think the first one is the guitar? Yeah. Or the rock thing? Yeah. The rock thing, yeah. It's like a gong. Yep. Did they just run away again? Yep. <sighs> so you oh, know already that this is going to culminate in them talking to that monster, right? Yeah, maybe. Bad. Man, this running away shit is pretty dumb. It's fucking confronted already. Yep. Giant fuck pussy. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like, if, if I was, like, if, it's like fighting a single zombie. There is no fear in my mind if I had to fight a single zombie. Because as long as you, I'm talking about a shambling zombie, not a fucking speed zombie. Like in mm. some of the stuff, more recent zombie fiction. Like if it's a, a slow zombie, no fear in my mind. I know I can take one. Mm -hmm. So... Hey, they split up. Right.
So he can see him too? I guess. Oh yeah! That's weird. Yeah, he could. And also, this is my third favorite mu music in the game. Do, do, do. He washed up here and spoke to me. Mm. There you go, she's dead. Yep. As you would expect by someone who's been decapitated into yeah. multiple pieces. Hey man, Mr. Oh, she was originally a robot. And not that I <laughs> don't think that robot is her. I actually think there's some association between Oh no, that that, I think her. that's just something else, yeah. Okay. I actually think there's some getting... association. I bet there's some association between her and the robot. But... Yeah. Because there's a reason it has a sack on its head. Right? It's supposed well, to be a it's, surprise. It's a scarecrow. It. I don't think it's a scarecrow. There's blood all over it. This just could be at the wrong time of the month. <laughs> In News World, women start bleeding from all orifices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I. Yeah. I like this music. <gasps> oh. Just now, right. Sure. What? Do you think she's yeah, ghost in this place as well? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Haunting, probably killed Yoko. <laughs> oh, do you think um, Ryoko's dead? No, he's yep. dead. Wait, who? Ryoko? What? Uh, so who did you think was dead? No, I thought I thought uh, was dead. killed Kyoko. Who kills Yoko? Yoko. Ryuda. Ryuda? No. Oh. So you think Ryuta killed Hyoko? Yeah. I think so too. Because remember, he's like, oh yeah, Ryuta's probably in the infirmary. She goes to look for Ryuta in the infirmary. Yeah, and then and she dies. In the classroom. This is actually a weird thing. Like, in, in a lot of... Well, I'm basing my assertions here from Phoenix Wright. But it's very Japanese in how the investigation is solved. Like, you go somewhere, then you go somewhere else, and then something leads you back to the first place, then you go somewhere yep. else, and then something it is, leads you it back It is a to the Japanese place. game, Cynic. Yeah. It's... Weird because in Western like detective fiction or whatever, it's just like you go. It's like very linear. You go to one place, you get all the clues from there. And you go to the next place, and you get all the clues from there, and so on and so forth. Because so that's how real crimes work, Cynic. They're very linear. No, I, I think both have some association with reality. They do revisit. I thought CSI was a documentary. 
But at the same time, like, I in the crimes I've been, the only crime I've been significantly involved with, which was me serving on jury, they did only, like, have one set of investigations. They investigated everything once. So they didn't, like, revisit anything. They mainly just tried to capture everything as close to the event as possible and get as many observations from each place as possible. That, that's how they investigated, so... Maybe you're right. Maybe Western is more accurate. Than Japanese. Japan. So the Jap apparently, the J in Japan is actually silent. Next, you'll have me call you Nippon. It's yeah, Apan. <laughs> this is J silent. <laughs> nice. It's, what is he typing with? His feet. How is he? Is he hovering using his wings to yeah. type? What? That'd be fuck? badass. What would you do? Would, would you open uh, the dome? I mean, like it in might this be a terrible disease that's spreading around. Yeah, in this series of events, I would have gone straight through the hatch. Like when they found the hatch in the first right. place, immediately. I'd be like, yeah, let's have a look. Fucking but whatever. But there's a natural disaster outside. Yeah. Like if you don't if you don't sense anything, just fucking have a look. It's not like the space out there. It's not like you'd be sucked through to the internal vacuum of space. Oh, I think you've discovered a new plot device that will oh, be man. featured in the later oh, stages man. of this game. That'll be the best. Probably not. Ooh. I bet this is a non option. I bet if you choose to open it, they'll say don't open it. Maybe. Let's save it first. Can we save? We oh, can't. no, we can't save. We can't save. <sighs> I say open, open it. it. Fucking open it. We're probably going to get sucked into space, like you just said, Zinnick. He agrees with us? Oh, no. Oh, this could be Does bad. Do nothing? Escape hatch opened. Okay. Maybe it's locked. It's probably going to be locked. In 15 minutes. Wow, okay. Wow, that's a shitty escape hatch. Yep. <laughs> that means someone has to stay inside. Yep. Oh no, you can get everyone out in 15 minutes. There's only like six people in the entire school. Well, they, like, there were other classmates that just weren't featured, that they were talking in the gym, weren't there? Um, like yeah, the class absolutely. representative was like, that, we got an I was in our being class. stupid in saying that there were only 15 people. There are more than 15 people in this school. But, um, you could use, uh, in 15 minute intervals, you can quickly evacuate a place. Right. Hmm. 
Okay, so these two students fly out the hatch and then get shot. Mm hmm. See? There yep. you go! Obvious. Ew. So, gun. or. What, what did they shoot him with? A gun? Bird gun. gun? That they can shoot with? Well, we, we've we had bird guns used in this Let's Play in the past. I guess Especially so. with the Yu Yu's route. Yep. Let's find a way. So, would you find a way to collapse the dome? Uh. Yes. But with that, that was a cool ep ending to this episode. That was. That was. Um, I find it sad that this game is a bit has become a bit easy to call. Yeah. But um, sort hopefully of predictable. it does shock us. So join us next time for the fourth class. Uh, yeah. See you there.